Hey all you awesome people and welcome to visit area clean up detail. I've got no idea what this is about, this is the first time of playing it. Now I know a few things. So we've got one mop and we're a lonely space janitor. One dildar because it looks like something crude. And we've got rubber gloves for the bit after that of something crude. If you're into that sort of stuff, you kinky thing. Anyway, let's move on, right. I think that gets played music then and loads of little bars shot up and it's now displaying some uh, funky stuff I've got no idea how to use that by the way so let's have a look it's my little inferno done right so you can open up the gates of hell and we can shove stuff inside like this wet floor sign so you can just pick that up nobody likes wet floor signs and burn in the gates of hell and we can probably splash it down with our mop to put it out there we go so the whole premise of the game other than playing around is actually cleaning up this blooded site. It actually does take you a long time to uh, finish one of these games off, somewhere about one hour to two hours. So you've got to try and clean the whole thing up. And it's quite a lot. There's quite a lot of detailed maps, so it's quite well worth the money. Uh, right, my map mop is now blooded out, so I've got to find a bucket. And here we go with a bucket of macket or splossomatic. We can just press a button and a new bu uh, bucket comes out. I've got no idea why you can't get splash everything with the bucket instead of having to get a new mop every time because the mop only lasts about two turns before it's done. Right, so here we go. I've just splattered the floor. This was an early access, now it's a fully fledged title with a load of maps. So the updates are kind of neat. As you can see, I've just made a load of blooded footprints around by stepping in the bar of blood and then having to wade around. So, let's blast up my footprint because I'm a very messy janitor and don't read into that very much. Hopefully you won't be in the staff room doing a load of things. Right, with his dildar because that is quite rude. Right, this is some acidy stuff. Hopefully I won't get it on me. But I've got a hazmat suit so I'll be okay. So I'm spreading, <laughs> spreading acid, acid everywhere. Right, so let's get rid of this acid. I've got a few buckets. I need as many buckets as possible. Right? Let's get spawn a load. Right, let's see what the problem is with that. We can just put one over here with the rest of the crap and splash the bucket along. And let's see, there's a tablet on the floor and there's a load of kind of decaying bodies which have just briefly decomposed. Right, so we've got this half of a guy. Right, and we can burn him through the gates of hell. That was the worst thing I have ever done. I feel actually quite remorseful for that. It's actually making me feel quite a bit remorse. And there we go. So let's just wet my bucket a bit. Actually that bucket is getting a bit dirty. So let's put that in the gates of hell as well. Right, and we can bucket it up. There we go, we don't need that bucket anymore. I wonder if that will ever be a, fair, a never ending fight between water and fire. Don't do that at home anybody. Don't do the endless <laughs> war between water and fire at home. It never goes very well. And splasomatic. Let's put another bucket down. I'm going to order another one of those. So there we go. Alright. Oh shit, I've just emptied my bucket already. Oh, that was very, very crap, wasn't it? Right, so let's put another bucket down on top of... Oh, bollocks! It's like watching the Cucker Brothers do space up clean up. Right, what the... What the hell with that? Is that a bit of a human heart or something? I've got no idea. The actual thing about this as well, you can actually pick up that and take it over here. And with a bit of luck, I should be able to find a space bin. You can just plop it in there until you're ready to take out the trash so as well right so let's go back to our bucket and we've messed up the place even more we're actually doing the worst job in the universe at this I am not made for space cleaning if it was I would be a space cleaner right now which would be quite an interesting job actually because you'd be going out into space and doing a late uh, actual kind of job as well I'd just be the Chuckle version, brother's version of that space kind of cleaner and be absolutely crap at my job. We actually are legends doing comedy. Hello, in the sketches they often did 
kind of these kind of roads where they did janitors and builders and stuff like that but they were absolutely rubbish at the job and it was all funny kind of sketch at them being rubbish so they're not actually calling the actual job they're actually leggings right so picking up these with some rubber gloves we can probably find the next bit of blood right, this looks like a blooded site oh bollocks why is it raised why is the whole thing raised okay we've got to go back and we've left every single bloody muddy footprint around or blooded footprint and pick up another barrel and pop it down right so let's do this with the power of space cleaning and get rid of my footprints I think this is all my barrel is actually going to do right now I need to pick up every single individual bullet this is actually a game about OCD and this is pretty much a simulator for OCD people so yeah this is a simulator for you that like cleaning and like everything in its plates then this is for you right oh my mods is splashing more blood there because my mops got a bit blooded up right my mop water is getting a little bit skanky so let's move it along a bit there's actually all sorts of unique kind of things there's actually a load of different maps with loads of different elements you can actually use vendors to vend what you want out of things so uh, there's height kind of things here I've not got any idea of what to call that elevator I don't know cleaning elevator I've got no idea but supposedly you can use that to scale up to new heights because some of the blood can get up on the ceiling right I'm, I'm so I'm actually making this place more dirty than it is because I'm actually making for more footprints everywhere although these are easy to clean up that's about the best thing about those footprints you have to pick up every bit of crap and putting it into the incinerator or bins once you've collected enough crap you then put it into the incinerator so yeah it's a nice little title if you like these kind of things where you clean up it's not it didn't take too much brain work to actually process what you're doing so if you've had a bit of a stressful day at work or anything like that and you just want to kind of kill when you get back home this is probably the game for you where you just don't want to use as much brain power so yeah, I don't know what that was but I think it's a bit of intestine some books on the black market's probably wanting that thing and uh, plop him down oh that's actually knocked down our bin I've got to be the worst space cleaner ever who gets burn the bin oh okay that was crap right burning the bin and not smelling in the fumes and there we go so this is Vizelina I can't even pronounce that uh, clean up detail put the title and the game link onto the description below and you can pretty much burn everything if you really that much of an arson it so there we go we just plop that in and we just shut the door into the gates of burning hell and there we go we just picked up that burning block which is about <laughs> without too much burning in there we can pick up that wet floor sign we can do whatever it's a nice little gem of a kind of unique kind of title you can also clean these panels off once you've done a bit you can actually move these doors along and get further in I'll probably be the worst cleaner ever it'll probably take me about five hours to clean this place up not the recommended one hour because I'm a crap cleaner right we're getting rid of my footprints and we can clean off that door I've got to leave a clean door before we close off this episode so now oh 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 sit we've just moved up the barrel and we're gonna need a new barrel with the infinitely ending never ending barrel machine it's a never ending story uh, right so hopefully we can get one from this side why is it human spraying out human bits this barrel must be having a secret decompressing human inside which is a quite horrible thing to say right so let's just clean up the mess we've caused first before ending this episode with a high so that's all nice and shiny you can actually see my face in there and that's about the only good thing in a pile of sit stains around here so yeah I've not cleaned up too much at all in that five minutes or ten minutes or however long it's been I think this place still looks as horrible and as blood filled as it did as I came in overall the game is a nice experience it's a unique kind of title no other game allows you to experience a life 
other space janitors it's well worth picking up there's a load of different things this is your rubber gloves that you can pick up stuff from and you can just pick up different things like this human leg here is the incinerator that you can place stuff in there's a quite a nice variety of kind of gaming and the only thing is probably after a while I don't know whether the variety and kind of unique kind of aspects run thin after a while um, but otherwise it's a nice kind of title so yeah that's a bit about Vizelina cleanup detail because I've got no idea how to pronounce and never will so yeah signy enjoy <laughs>